Hello everyone, welcome to Little Einstein. In this video, we will learn about X-rays. As we all know, light is a form of radiation and electromagnetic radiation and at some wavelengths it is visible to human eye. Light takes other forms of radiation which we cannot see with the naked eye, such as the ultraviolet, infrared and the X-rays. X-rays are unique in a way that they have very short wavelengths unlike the visible light. X-rays are powerful enough to fly through many kinds of matter as if they are translucent and they are particularly useful in medical applications because they make images of organs like bones without harming them, although they do have a very slight chance of causing mutations in reproductive organs and tissues like thyroid, which is why lead aprons are often used to block them. When X-rays interact with matter, they collide with electrons. Sometimes the X-ray transfers all of its energy to the matter and it gets absorbed completely. And at other times it only transfers some of its energy and the rest is scattered. The frequency of these outcomes depends on how many electrons the X-rays are likely to hit. Collisions are more likely if the material is dense or if it's made of elements with higher atomic number which means they have more electrons. Bones are full of calcium which has relatively higher atomic number so they absorb x-rays pretty well. Soft tissues on the other hand aren't as dense and contains mostly lower atomic number elements like carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So more of the x-rays penetrate through tissues like lungs and muscles and darken the film. For more such videos, please like and subscribe. Comment the next topic you would like to see on your favorite channel. You can also find more such content on Tuition app.